Well, it is that time again, and we are here at Jamming with Jow, sure, and we are steady moving along the 24 Chi or the 24 solar cycles, and we left off in the white dew phase, the Bai Lu, and we have been seeing a change in the temperature. So now that we have transitioned from summer to autumn and the temperatures have started to drop, we are now poised in the next week or so to now welcome in the fall equinox, the autumnal equinox, where the days are equal day and night. So we are approaching Chu Fun, going from Bai Lu to Chu Fun. And as we start to move through this section of fall, that will get us into the, from fall one into fall two. So if we're moving from Bai Lu, which is the three phases of fall one, that's the last phase, then we're moving into chief Chu Fun as of September 22nd on the Gregorian calendar. So now that we are ready and poised to move from the white dew to the autumnal equinox, we can start to look at different aspects of the temperatures, where we have the temperatures of the highs and the temperatures of the lows. And the highs have been moving from August till now from 91 to really relatively around the same temperature in the daytime. Because here in Florida, we still have some nice warm temperatures. And so we're at 91, 93, 90, 91, and 91 respectively. So we've basically evened out, but we still have our humidity much lower than usual, but it's still humid because it's Florida. So in places like Shanghai, or places like Abu Dhabi. Shanghai has been 95, 99, 96, 95, and 93, respectively. But Abu Dhabi has been 111, 101, 104, 106, respectively. So that is the highs of the day. And then when it starts to cool down that night, that's when you start to see more of the do phase, the bailu. And as we move into the autumnal equinox, you'll start to see more of those temperatures cool off at night. Because at night, we're at 72, 73, 77, 75. But in places like the northern climates, you will see in the daytime, the highs be at, in say, Montreal, 80. But then at night, you will see them drop. And they're starting to go into the upper 60s and upper 50s. And like Chicago, last week, it was 52 at night. And Montreal, 54 at night. So tonight, it will be 69 and 61, respectively, from Chicago to Montreal. So you begin to see the different changes happening. You now know that your body is also going to respond to those changes, just depending upon what northern latitude that you're in. Now, here in the south, we're in the 29th, 30th, and 31st parallel which means that we are synonymous with Southern China, where the 24 solar cycles is big in antiquity. So then now we have pretty much the same weather, the same type of environment, climate, what's, what have you. That's going from the land 
to Brunswick, Georgia. And that is around that time frame. So here in Florida, as we prepare for the coming changes, we feel the environment changing and then now we enhance it with our ability to adapt to the situation. So then now we have places like uh, Ningbao, Wuhan, Sichuan, they're all feeling and experiencing Cairo, all feeling and experiencing that same rhythm, that same energy, that same weather. So their bodies are like our bodies are making the changes. And if you adapt your body to the change, it's your small wins that allow to, you to get the big wins of prevention. So an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So now we know that we continue to now do small little things and then our body stays and remains functional and then we never have to experience dysfunction. So now that we have this main aspect of the 29th, 30th, and 31st parallel, then we also have some of the northern aspects in our northern cities from the 35th parallel to the 45th parallel. And this goes from central China, Xi'an, all the way to Beijing and then parts of uh, inner Mongolia. So you're going straight across, then that's synonymous with Charlotte or Albuquerque, Philadelphia or Denver, or Minneapolis and Portland, and uh, certain parts of uh, Maine and those areas of uh, United States. So then now they in the northern climates are now going to be experiencing like we talked about in Montreal, starting to get those lower temperatures at night. So now what do we do to transition? We look at our circular calendar and see where we are so we can follow. We're at the Bailu point the third installment of the six of the solar cycles within fall. Because fall started August 7th. So now we're at September 7th. And now we're going to be moving into the next week or so into the autumnal equinox, preparing for cold dew, frost descent, and then the first day of winter. So we're steadily moving into that particular aspect of our um, change. So then now that we know that that's what we're here to do is to make some small wins and big wins, how can we do that? Well, we can adapt it through diet. So then now I always like to share as we talk about it each week, yin yang, the nutritional aspect of what you can add to your diet to have that frequency of change. So if you are a yang body type, as opposed to a yin body type, then now we can take a look at what different things can we add to our diet to help our bodies get the signal to now start to make the change. So last week we did olives and azuki bean. This week, if you're a yang type, we're going to focus on pomelo. Or if you're a yin type, we're going to focus on grapes. Grapes. So then now let's talk about the pomelo. The pomelo kind of looks a little bit like a grapefruit. And it has that texture and that size. So, but it has a little bit different function in grapefruit. And in Chinese food therapy... We say it clears damp. It resolves water, which means that when it's clearing damp, it's moving things out of the body that is stuck like jello. So then now it resolves water that if you have that accumulation because you have a stopper of jello in your sink and it's bringing up all the water, as soon as I clear that damp out, now that water begins to move out. And it resolves the water, what? Accumulation. That's what it means by accumulating. Then accumulation, it also eliminates toxins because as things are not moving, the body has 
um, is starting to collecting too much of the different aspects of what it manufactures. So then now too much of anything becomes can be toxic. So we start to eliminate toxins. Then resolves phlegm. So the first one is clear damp. That's the humidity. The physical manifestation of humidity is mucus phlegm. So that's why we say resolve phlegm. Then as we're doing these things to now get the body to clear the damp, resolve the phlegm, that's all a digestive principle in Chinese medicine. It's activating the body's ability to break things down. That's digestion. So that's why it aids overall in digestion. So as we begin to understand how to go about utilizing this particular thing, pomelo, as a yang type, then add it to your diet. See how it works for you for the next uh, couple of weeks. So then now, if you're a yin type, we can now do grapes. So anything from white grapes to purple grapes to red grapes, any type of grape, okay? But when we're looking at grapes, we're looking at what it can do for the body, okay, in the yin yang. Then we look at different grapes, the white, the red, the darker, what is it actually doing? So this particular fruit is very tonifying, particularly the red and purple varieties. So now there's the red and the purple. And so this, we say, nourishes the blood, strengthens the bones and the tendons, tonifies the chi, harmonizes the stomach, and promotes what? Diuresis, flow of urine coming out, and then relieves irritability. So the body's ability to do what? Be calm gets disturbed for whatever reason. And then now you eat some grapes and then now your body gets a chance to relax. It begins to remove any type of excesses from the body by doing what? Diuresis, okay? So then now you have the positive type of, or I should say not really positive, we say beneficial, okay? So beneficial side effect of your body getting more nourishment, strengthening the bones, strengthening the tendon, and your body overall gets stronger. So that's what we want as an overall for your body to now get the nutrients in your blood, promoting red blood cells with that red variety of grape, or getting even more deeper red blood cells, bone marrow for the purple variety. Now, so what does the green variety do or the white variety of white? So we say in Chinese medicine world that it doesn't necessarily tonify the blood, but it tonifies the qi, the overall function. Your body can now produce more energy because of this particular variety of grapes. So the green grapes, we say tonify the qi, the red and the purple grapes tonify the blood. And then there's a statement, blood is the mother or the parent of the qi. So these things, if you you know add all three varieties this week as a yin type, see how your body feels after you eat the green or if you eat the red or if you eat the purple, see how all of those things help harmonize your stomach, tonify your chi. There's a tonify the chi green. And then helps promote diuresis, which is helping you eliminate any excess water and then that moves everything through your particular system. So those are the two main aspects that we're doing for yang and yin today, which are the pomelo and the different variety of grapes. So now that we have finished our section and we're poised to start those on the 22nd, not now, we're still in Bailu, so continue uh, incorporating the previous in your particular diet, which we talked about last time, 
which was the owls and the Yuzuki bee. Okay, so now that we have those, we can take some questions. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, so you guys are not submitting questions, so we always give the information. And if you have any questions, you can go on to our Facebook page. You can go through Instagram or ask us different questions uh, through our um, TikTok channels. So, and then I will always bring them on here and then answer them. So that is our session of Jamming with Jao Sure today. I'm Jao Sure. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>